let's continue our exploration of the advanced features of Ionic Lists. In the previous exercise, we already implemented the ability to add a list of items into my favorites. Now, in this exercise, we're going to be able to display the list of my favorites and also allow the user to delete items from the list of my favorites. Along the way, we need to implement a custom Angular filter. So that's what we will explore in the second part of this exercise. Returning to our application, um, the first thing that we're going to do is from the menu items, we should be able to now select and add items into my favorites. So in this exercise, we are now going to add in the my favorites to the sidebar menu. And when the my favorites is clicked, it is going to show the list of the favorites that I have selected. Also, it will allow me to uh, click on this button that we will add to the header, which allows me to bring up the option for deleting items from my list of favorites. So when I click on that button, it'll show up these buttons on the left side. So if I click on any one of them, that'll delete that particular dish from my list of favorites. So this is what we're going to explore in implementing in this part of the exercise. To complete the implementation of the second part that we just examined, we'll continue to modify the favorite factory that we have built up already. We would add in the ability to delete an item from my favorites and also return all the favorites uh, from the list of favorites that I have. So to do that, I'll add two more functions to the favorite factory called as delete from favorites and get all favorites. So let's add in the function one by one. So the first function that I have added to my favorite factory is called get favorites. This function returns the list of favorites that I have already selected. So it returns the JavaScript object array that contains the list of all my favorites, the IDs of all the dishes that I have selected as my favorites. So all that it does is just returns the favorites JavaScript object array. The last function that I'm going to implement is the delete from favorites. I have now added the last function to my favorite factory called delete from favorites. So this delete from favorites obviously takes one parameter, which is the index of the item that I want to delete from my list of favorites. So this parameter function index is coming in and this index I'm going to now use to explore my favorites JavaScript object array. And I'll compare to see if the favorites ID matches the index, then that particular item will be spliced out of my JavaScript object array. So that's the reason why I'm doing for var i is equal to zero, i less than favorites dot length, i plus plus. So I am iterating over all the items in my favorites JavaScript object array. And I check and see if favorites i dot id is the same as the index, the parameter that came in, then I will splice that item out of my JavaScript object array. So the splice method when called on a JavaScript object array allows me to splice out one particular item from the JavaScript object array. So this is a JavaScript function that I'm making use of to be able to remove the item from my JavaScript object array 
that stores the list of all my favorites. So now I have added in the two more functions that I really need in order to support the remaining features that I have shown you. So with this, we complete the implementation of the favorite factory. Now we will go ahead and implement the my favorites uh, template and add it to my single page application so that when the user selects the my favorites i'll be able to display all my favorites in a list form in order to add in the my favorites to the options that i'm going to display within my sidebar menu i will add in the template for my favorites called favorites.html. So to do that, go to templates and then right click and select the new file and then add in the new file called favorites.html. I have already added in the favorites.html file here and then it is open here. Right now it is empty. Now I'm going to turn this into a template that I'm going to make use within my single page application. So to do that, first thing that I need to do is to add in the ion view. The ion view, as you see, the view title, I have set it as my favorites. And then this has the ion content in there. So you have already seen how we define ionic templates. So within the ion content, I'm going to be now displaying the list of my favorite dishes. So let me construct the list of my favorite dishes. For this, we can make use of the same functionality that we have used for constructing the menu um, template. So I'm going to simply make use of a similar structure for the code here. So I have added an ion list here. The ion list contains an ion item and ng repeat dish in dishes. This we have already seen for menu.html. But this dish in dishes, I'm going to filter using favorite filter. And for the favorite filter, I am supplying favorites as my parameter. This is a custom filter that I'm going to implement. And I'll explain how we implement the custom filter in one of the later steps. This favorite filter takes favorites as the parameter. What is favorites? Favorites is the JavaScript object array that contains the list of my favorites. Now, where do I get hold of this favorite JavaScript object array? Remember that the favorite factory has this function called get favorites. When I call that, it'll return me the JavaScript object array that contains the IDs of all my favorite dishes that I'm going to supply as a parameter to the favorite filter. So once I construct this favorites template, then I'm going to add a new state to my uh, UI router called favorites and then set this template as the template URL for that favorites state. Also, I need to define a controller called favorite controller. We're going to implement the controller next after we modify the app.js file. Let's first complete the template here. So here I have an ion list and then you would see that the structure of the code here is exactly the same as menu.html because I am displaying the uh, items in my uh, favorite dishes in the same way as I display the menu items. So the structure is pretty much the same. Now I need to add in a couple of more features into this ion list. First, I need to add the option for deleting this ion list. So to do that, I will add a delete button to this ion list here. So to add a delete button to this ion list, I will use the Ionix support for a delete button called ion delete button. So this is a custom directive that Ionic 
uses to define a delete button. For this ion delete button, I set the class as ion minus circle, meaning that this delete button will be displayed as a red circle with a minus in there. You have already seen how it looks like on the screen earlier. And when this delete button is clicked, I'm going to call this method called delete favorite and supply the dish ID as the ID for the delete favorite. Now, when the dish ID is supplied, then the delete favorite method is, will then go ahead and then call the delete from favorites factory function in order to delete this particular dish here. So I have introduced this ion delete button. Now, I don't want to show this delete button by default. Instead, only when required, I want to be able to show this delete button. So to do that for the ion list, I need to add in another attribute for the ion list called as show delete. If the show delete attribute is set to true, then the delete button that I have just included will be shown on the screen. If not, the delete button will not be shown on the screen. So to control this, I am using this JavaScript variable called should show delete. This should show delete, if it is set to true, will result in the delete button being shown on the screen. If should show delete is false, then the delete button will not be shown on the screen. So now I need a way of manipulating this should show delete. To do that, as you saw when I demonstrated the functionality, you saw that there was a button in the header bar with a minus um, sign. When I clicked on the button, then the delete buttons were shown in the menu items. When I clicked on the button again, delete buttons were hidden from the items in my favorites. So to do that, to how do you add buttons to the header bar in Ionic? To do that in Ionic, we take the help of ion nav buttons. So let me add in that button to my navigation bar and then explain to you how we go about creating that. Here, you see that I have added in the ion nav buttons. Inside this ion nav buttons tag, I can include buttons that will be added to the header bar in my ionic template. So this ion nav buttons, you can see that I have defined buttons in there. So uh, in addition, the ion nav button takes an attribute called side, which I set to secondary. If I set the side to secondary, these buttons are going to be displayed on the right hand side of my header bar. So that's the reason why that negative uh, button was displayed on the right hand side in my header bar. Now, what exactly are displayed in my header bar? So here you can see that I have added div class buttons. This is how you add a button into the header bar. So we say div class buttons. And then inside there, I define a button called button class, button, button icon, icon, ion iOS minus outline. So this is the ionic icon that I am making use of to define the button. So it is the circle with the negative in there that is displayed in there. Now, when this button is clicked, then I want to call this function called ng click. Notice that it is set to toggle delete. So I must implement this toggle delete function in the controller for my favorites. So I'm going to implement a favorite controller and inside there I will implement this toggle delete function which allows me to either show or hide the delete buttons. So this toggle delete function should be changing the value of the should show delete JavaScript variable either to true or false depending on when this button is clicked. Now that we have completed constructing the template, 
let's now add this into app.js. Next, we move to app.js and then add in the new state to show the favorites. So in app.js, let me scroll down and then after the contact us, I'm going to add in the new state for favorites. So adding in the new state for favorites, this state I label as app.favorites and the corresponding URL as slash favorites. And for the views, the main content, the template URL, I'm setting it as templates favorites.html. We just created this template. Also, I set the controller for as favorites controller. So which means that I now need to go ahead and implement the favorites controller. Once I have made this change to app.js, let's save the changes and then we will move on to controllers.js and then implement the favorites controller there. Moving now to controllers.js, I am now going to introduce the new controller that we need for the my favorites. So to do that in here, I'm going to introduce a new controller named favorites controller. So you can see that I have defined favorites controller here with the in injection of the various dependencies here, scope, menu factory. I need menu factory in order to get the list of all the dishes. Then I have the favorite factory. I need the favorite factory in order to get the favorites and also be able to delete one of the items from my favorites. Also, the base URL, ionic list, delegate, and the remaining dependencies. So I'm going to leave them there. Now, within this controller, what am I supposed to do? First, of course, we will set the base URL to uh, base URL, which we would make use of in one of the later exercises. At this moment, we're just going to keep it as it is. Now, in addition, I'm going to use uh, this uh, variable called should show delete in order to decide whether I'm going to show or hide the delete buttons from the list of my favorite dishes. So by default, I will set the should show delete to false. Now this is going to be manipulated based upon whether the user clicks on the button in the header bar or um, to either show or hide the delete buttons. So by default, I am not going to show the delete button. So, so that's why I set the should show delete to false. Now, I need to go to the favorite factory and then fetch all my favorites. So to do that, I simply declare this variable called favorites and then go to favorite factory and call the get favorites method of the favorite factory in order to get the list of favorites. So when I call that, it will return me a JavaScript object array containing the IDs of all the um, favorite dishes that I have selected. Now, next, I'm going to go and fetch the list of dishes from the menu factory. We have already seen how we do that in the menu controller. I'm going to use the same code here again in order to get the list of dishes. So here for scope dishes, so the dishes object uh, contains the list of all the dishes, the JavaScript object array containing all the dishes here. So to, to initialize that, I'm going to go to menu factory and then call the get dishes query method. We have already seen this before. So I am querying that and getting the information about all the dishes. Now that I have all the dishes, I need a way of showing this in our favorites. The favorites.html file uh, has already been created with uh, the usage of these dishes object there in order to construct the list of all my favorite dishes. We needed to implement the custom filter, which I'm going to discuss a little bit later. Now, in the 
favorite controller. In addition to this, I need to implement a function to toggle the delete um, buttons from the list of favorites. And also, I need to implement the delete from favorites, uh, rather delete favorite function here, which will be invoked when the user clicks on the delete button of one of my favorite dishes. So first, I implement the toggle delete function. This toggle delete function is going to be called when the user clicks on the button in the header bar in order to either show or hide the delete buttons from the list of favorite dishes. So the toggle delete function essentially toggles the value of should show delete. So that is exactly what I'm doing here, saying scope should show delete equal to exclamation mark scope should show delete. So whatever the value of should show delete, it'll, it'll be flipped around. So if it is true, then it'll be made false. If it is false, it'll be made true. This toggle delete function ensures that the should show delete will be changed from true to false or vice versa whenever the user clicks on that delete button. The last function that I need to implement is delete favorite. So here you see that I have implemented the delete favorite function. So the delete favorite function takes in the index as a parameter. So this is the selected dish which I want to delete from my list of favorites. So once I get that value, I just simply call the favorite factories delete from favorites function and pass the index as a parameter to that. And then after that, note that I am setting should show delete to false. The moment I delete the dish item, I want to hide the delete buttons from the list of my favorites. So that's why I set the should show delete to false. So this completes the implementation of the favorite controller. Now, when I constructed the template, you saw that I had defined a filter there. So let's again quickly revisit templates.html and see how we declare the filters. Now, in this controller, the dishes object contains the list of all the dishes. From the list of all the dishes, I want to only filter out those dishes that are in my favorite list. So now I have two JavaScript object arrays. One object array contains the information about all the dishes. The second object array contains the IDs of all those favorite dishes that I have selected. So I should take this dishes object array and then filter out only those dishes that are my favorites. So to do that, I need to implement a custom Angular filter. The standard filters that Angular comes with don't help me achieve this. Implementing a custom filter is not that difficult as you will notice in a short while. Before we do that, let's go to templates.html and then examine where we make use of the custom filter. Switching to favorites.html file, you see that in the ion item, the ng repeat, I specify that as dish in dishes, and then I filter that using favorite filter with colon favorites. Now this favorites is the JavaScript object array that has just been initialized in my favorite controller. That object array is supplied as a parameter to this favorite filter. What this means is that now, I need to implement a custom filter with the name favorite filter, which will take in favorites as one of the parameters. How do we implement a custom filter? Let's examine that in the next step. Since I have only one filter, I am not creating explicitly a filters.js file. If you have multiple custom filters that you're building, it'll be a good idea to implement another file called filters.js and then add this into your index.html file um, as a um, um, script dependency. But since I have only one custom filter, I am 
not going to do that. Instead, I will just add the custom filter into my controllers.js file at the bottom of the controllers.js file. So in the controllers.js file, after the favorite controller, I'm going to introduce the filter. How do you construct a custom filter? This is how you do that. To define a custom filter in Angular, you would say dot filter. And this dot filter takes two parameters. The first parameter is the name of the filter. Recall that in the favorites.html template, I have specified the name of the file as favorite filter. So that's why I named this filter as favorite filter. The second parameter is a function. This function is the one that implements the filter functionality. Now, this function will actually return a function which acts as the filter. This is how Angular implements custom filters. So this function, which is the second parameter of this filter definition here, will return a function which actually implements the filtering functionality. So how do we implement that? So to do that, within this filter, I have to implement this return function and the um, this function receives two parameters. The first parameter is the array on which I am doing the filtering. Now, recall that the array there was named dishes. So I am using that as one of the parameters here. I can name it anything that I want just so that you and I remember that I am operating on the dishes array. I also named this parameter as dishes. The second one, the second parameter is the parameter that this filter array takes. So remember that I specified favorite filter colon favorites in the favorites.html file. That second parameter after the colon, that is what will come in as the second parameter to this function. This is the structure of implementing custom filters in Angular. So when you implement the custom filter, the first parameter that comes in for this function is the array over which you're going to do the filtering. The second parameter is the parameter that you supply for your filter. So now I have the dishes JavaScript object array and I have the favorites. JavaScript object array. Now I'm going to take the help of these two in order to extract out only those dishes from the dishes JavaScript object array and then return only those dishes that whose IDs are in my favorites. So how do we go about doing that? I am using a very simple method of doing this. Let me let me add in the code and then explain to you what I am doing here in the code, you notice that I have declared a variable called out, which is an empty JavaScript object array. Now, in here, I am doing a for over favorites, var i is equal to zero, i less than favorites dot length i plus plus. So I am going to iterate over all my favorites dishes. Then the inner loop, I am iterating over all the dishes. So what I'm doing is I'm taking one item from my favorites array and then checking to see if that item is in the dishes, extract that item from the dishes and then add it into the out array. So the out array is the one that contains all my favorite dishes. So to do that, first I take the index from my favorites, from the favorites JavaScript object array. Then I check the dishes object array and then extract out that particular object that corresponds to this ID and then push that into the out JavaScript object array. So at the end of these for loops, the out JavaScript object array will contain only those dishes that are my favorites. So this is how I implement filtering. So I'm just simply doing a linear search just to keep it simple.
if you have a large number of uh, dishes and a number of favorites this is going to be slow but i'm not trying to teach you computer algorithms in this course my concentration is on showing you how to implement ionic so i am doing a simple linear search through the list of items if you are familiar with algorithms you can do a much better way of doing this search again remember the focus of this course is on understanding how to do ionic i am not teaching you computer algorithms in this course so i have implemented a very dumb way of doing this filtering i just do a linear search extract each item out of the dishes and then add it into the out javascript object array and then when i am done with this two for loops i have the out array that contains all the list of my favorite dishes and then at that point i just simply return this out javascript object array so that's my simple custom filter that i have implemented here so when this favorite filter acts on the dishes javascript object the resulting javascript object contains only those dishes that are my favorite dishes now then the ng repeat will iterate over only my favorite dishes and then construct the list of my favorite dishes and then show it in the uh, favorites page there you see how bit by bit we have managed to construct the favorites and along the way you also saw how you can implement a custom filter in angular now the last thing that we need to do is to be able to show the my favorites to do that i need to add in my favorite favorites to sidebar dot html file going to sidebar.html file between the menu on contact us i'm going to add in the new option there to show the favorites so let me add in that in there so here i am adding in an ion item menu close href app favorites and then my favorites so when this item is selected the favorites uh, page is shown in my application so with that let me save the changes and we have implemented everything that we need in order to show the favorites in my application and also support the deletion of items from my favorites so with this we complete the implementation of the entire application using the advanced features of ionic lists let's go back and do one final look at my um, app and see how it performs getting back to the app again when you select the list of menu items you will be able to um, select any one of those menu items by doing a right to left gesture and then adding them into my favorites then when you go to my favorites here note that we have my favorites as an option in the sidebar so when you select my favorites it will display the list of all my favorites that i have just selected now if i click on this button in my header then it will display the delete buttons next to the list of my favorites so i will be able to delete one of these items from my favorites with this we have explored the various advanced features of ionic filters we have also explored how we can implement a custom filter in angular this completes this exercise